Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am so excited because I am trying something different and I want to take you guys along on this journey. So we have been seeing AI everywhere. It's on websites, it's in your cell phone, just technology is expanding. And one of the things I've been using a lot lately is chat GPT, but not necessarily a makeup routine. But that's what I did today. And I asked ChatGPT to pick out products in every single category for my age, my skin concerns, and we tried them all on. Now, before we jump into it, you guys, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications, new videos. If you like this video, make sure you get a big thumbs up. But if you wanna see how I got this look using all the recommendations from an AI generated makeup list, just keep watching. Okay, this video is very different than what I've done in the past. I was talking to someone joking about it and they told me that I should actually do this. So everything nowadays, whether it's Canva or ChatGPT, Sephora, they all have some sort of like AI portion of their apps or websites. And I've been using ChatGPT a lot for different things like planning trips or whatnot. I was like, you know what? Let me try using ChatGPT to pick a full face of makeup, which is what we did today. So just for the prompt, this is what I told ChatGPT to do for me. I would like you to pick out a full face of makeup for a 39 year old with oily skin, fine lines and semi-visible pores with three products in each of the following categories. And then I listed all the categories that I use on a daily basis. And the picks that they gave me pretty spot on and a lot of items I have in my collection. So when I was going back and looking at my list and grabbing out all the products that I needed, I realized I missed eyeshadow primer. I also missed setting powder, which we'll get there, but for eyeshadow primer, and I literally just picked this up and used it in my full face of best sellers at Sephora, is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So the other two were the Too Faced Shadow Assurance, which I've used multiple times. I loved it in the past. I haven't picked it up recently. And then the NYX Professional Makeup HD Eyeshadow Base. I don't know that I've used that in the past, but it also gave me reasons as to why I should pick it out. So I'm excited for this because I have picked this up recently and I know that I do like it along with my P. Louise Base. The only downside to this is there's not really a color to it and I do like my P. Louise base because it has a shade to it and will mask this blue vein I have on my right eyelid. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. There are different ones, like I said, Sephora has their AI and I've thought about using theirs. Of course, they're obviously going to use Sephora products. I don't know if Ulta has an AI in their app, but I definitely should check. But also, when I was going through these products, especially when it came to eyeshadow palettes, <laughs> it's very much neutral. So I may play around with this and you might see them again in the future with some variations, like pick a colorful eyeshadow palette or whatnot. Let me know if that's something that you would like to see, just kind of continuing this into a series. But I'm intrigued and when you see some of the things that it picked out, you might be too. I was actually very surprised. Now for eyeshadow, and that's usually where I start out, but that's not the order that I had it pick my makeup. Once I do everything else after eyeshadow palettes, it starts to flow. For eyeshadow palettes, it said the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Eyeshadow Palette, which I have since decluttered. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette, also decluttered. But the one that I still have in my collection, and I didn't really have to repurchase except two items. This one is the ColourPop Nude Mood Eyeshadow Palette. And that's why I said there's a theme. They are all very neutral. And I don't know if that's based off of my age and not like you're going to be age appropriate or it's just what's popular. Um, when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, it doesn't matter your age. I love bold, colorful type of eyeshadow palettes. But then I also really love a neutral moment, especially for work. Now, I will say one thing. 
I decluttered this in my last eyeshadow palette declutter. I just have not given it away and I'm glad I didn't because I didn't have to go repurchase one that I had already gotten rid of. So there is that. It will go back into the declutter pile, but <laughs> we're going to give it a fair shot today. The first shade I'm going to go into is, what is this? Bear to Wear. It is the lightest tan shade. We're going to put that into the crease and the outer V with my fluffy crease brush. Let me know as we go through this, if there's any products that you would like to see or that you, you know, maybe have used in the past and also like, but I was very specific with my skin concerns when it came to picking out my makeup. I wanted to make sure that it knew the issues that I have, what I'm trying to conceal. I didn't get specific with, I want a colorful eyeshadow palette. I just was very generic. So let me know if there's anything that you would like me to change in the prompt in future videos if I do this again. All right, so it's very tan, very pale, a good start. I think I'm gonna go into the shade All Natural. A little bit darker, still fluffy crease brush. I wanna deepen it up a little bit. Luke and I are going out with some friends to dinner tonight, so just redoing my makeup to go out and hang out on a lovely Friday night. All right, so deepened up a little bit, nothing too crazy. And then the next shade I'm gonna go into is Moody. This one I'm gonna switch to my compacted smudge brush, place it down and then blend it out. The folds of my eyelids as I get older make some of the most interesting <laughs> designs when I go to blend out my eyeshadow. Including skipping, which I don't like. No extra product. I'm just going to go on the outer edge and kind of blend out that harsh line. And I'll smooth it out a little bit. It may have gone in a little heavy handed with that dark shade. And I'm going to hop into the shade Wink Wink, which is a beautiful shimmery champagne shade. So glittery. This is one of those, uh, it feels like a super shock shadow. extra product just going to push this back a little bit. I do love a good ColourPop eyeshadow palette. I love the Super Shock shadows and it's so beautiful on the eyes. Keeping it very neutral tonight. Now on to face primers. For face primers it recommended Benefit Cosmetics the Professional Face Primer, the Smashbox Photo Finish Oil Free Foundation Primer which is what I picked up because I hadn't had it in my collection for quite some time. And then the NYX Professional Makeup Shine Killer Primer. I didn't have it rank it one to three based off of best selling or whatnot. I just asked for, I just asked for three recommendations. So haven't used this in a while. I remember liking the Smashbox primer that I pick up, but I don't know if this is the one that I specifically had. Packaging changes over time. I do like Smashbox Cosmetics though. And it's just a clear, kind of slippy, kind of feels like silky on the skin. So I want to know, would you trust AI to pick up, pick out a makeup routine or a skincare routine for you. The other thing is, I don't pay for the premium version of ChatGPT. 
I just have the pre the free version of it and I've used it for multiple things uh, like planning a trip in October to Boston with Jamie. Now for foundations. It recommended the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place, which I do have in my collection. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I did just declutter that because it was very old. And the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I have actually been thinking about picking that up again, but I haven't used or picked up specific matte foundations because of my skin. And I've talked about it recently, about how I like a more glowy foundation, being oily, and then just setting it with a really good setting powder. Now with the double wear, it does not come with the pump. You have to buy it separately. I do like it because it makes it easier to apply the makeup. And I actually wore this to work today. I love this foundation. You can have it very thin and kind of share it out, or you can make it pretty thick to be like a full coverage type of moment. And as far as shades, I have mine in three, was it three and one ivory beige. But I would wear this foundation when I was up in Great Lakes as a drill instructor. And do not wear makeup when you go work out. I don't recommend it. But we would work out with the recruits and I would wear this and it would last all day. I would start my day at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Uh, with the recruits, but my makeup would be done around like 4.30, 5 o'clock. And I would wear it until about 10 o'clock at night, which is actually really bad for your skin. It should breathe, but when you're doing a full day, you want something that stays and isn't gonna slip off your skin. This is actually, I think, my third or fourth bottle of this. but it is such a nice foundation. So I'm not surprised that it was recommended. And I don't have a widow's peak. I have like a reverse where it like dips in. So I always have the hardest time trying to get my foundation and hairline to like blend. Has a nice coverage. I don't think I'm going to go too. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to put another layer on, only because I don't want it super thick and heavy. Now for contour, and it is literally the only other cream product besides my concealer, bronzer, blush, highlighter are all, are all powders. So for contour, it recommended the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit, which I decluttered recently. The Fenty Beauty Matchstick Matte Skin Stick. I literally just purchased this for the Sephora Best Sellers video. And then the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, which I've never owned. But I really like this contour stick. So I have mine in shade Mocha. Just give some warmth to the skin and then if you need to add a little bit more like right here you can just go and dab it For concealer, and I'm not surprised by this one, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which love this one, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which I do also have, but I didn't want to use that one today, and then the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I have not tried that. I should pick it up. I didn't have my phone with me when I went and picked up the two items that I knew I needed, and then I was like, hmm, next time. So we are going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. And then, because we might as well, so for powders, and this is one of them that I completely forgot to ask recommendations for. So it recommended for setting powder, the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, the RCMA No Color Powder, which I've never tried before, 
and the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, which I just decluttered out of my collection. That one did go in the rubbish bin because I'd had it for a while, so I do not have it to just grab and try again. But I have mine in shade Light Medium for Tarte Shape Tape. And you don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. I feel like this is my makeup routine for when I was a drill instructor because I've been using a lot of these products for a long time. to the Laura Mercier with my little puff. Canyon of a line. Let's just fix that real quick. Don't show emotion, don't smile until you set your face. <laughs> There's always powder all over this shirt. All right, let's dive back into the eyeshadow palette. Finish off this eye before we do everything else. All right, so I'm gonna skip this shade and go into All Natural. Do that the entire length underneath the eye on my little tiny compacted smudge brush. This gives me like teddy bear vibes with these shades of brown. into the shade Moody and just into the center area. I'm going to switch my brushes into my larger compacted just to make sure that this outer V area is the shape that I want and then smudged in to the lower lash line. Very pretty and neutral. <laughs> Okay, for blush, no, bronzer. I need bronzer first. I am out of whack trying to figure out <laughs> what I need to finish doing. I'm so used to when I use a cream contour that I'm also using a cream bronzer and a blush and everything is cream at that point. But chat GPT has switched it up. All right, so for bronzer, the first one it chose is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Love this one. The Hula by Benefit, which I do have in a face palette. And then the Morphe Glamour Bronze Face and Body Bronzer, which I do also have that one in my bronzer drawer. But I haven't used this in a while, and I was like, I really want to use it tonight. And it's actually kind of subtle. Now, when Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer started out, it was like one shade. And now they've expanded it into deeper shades. And it has such a beautiful, like, tropical scent. Some of the recommendations do have shades specific, and then others don't have shades. It's just whatever shade you think you might be. Like, when it gets to lip products, it does have specific shades. But we might switch that up.
little bit of life back in these cheeks. I do still have blush to do as well. For blush, the first one is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Like I said, it has a specific shade and I love my Luminoso. I actually just decluttered a brand new unopened Luminoso that I have, uh, but I'm trying to finish this one off and it does, it's, it's into pan. So don't know why I'm stuttering. Uh, then it's the NARS Blush and Orgasm, which I love and is in my collection. The NYX Professional Makeup High Definition Blush in Taupe. I don't think I've ever, Taupe sounds weird as far as like a blush shade, um, but I did reach for something that I am trying to use up and I do love this shade. And it's a beautiful like glowy shade. It's very subtle. I'm wondering if I should have used the NARS. Maybe I can build it. It's a very neutral and subtle type of blush tonight. Luminosa might be too pale for me nowadays. I've been liking a lot deeper of like coral, peach, and pink shades. It's pretty, it's shiny. Is very glowy okay for highlighter and this one I'm like oh this is a throwback the first one I recommended and I do have this in my collection is the Becca shimmering skin perfector pressed highlighter I have mine in champagne pop you know I haven't used this in forever and I feel like I need to the other two are the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle and then the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, which I was tempted to use and I was like, mmm, but I haven't used Becca in forever. So that's what we're using today. All right, let's go ahead and do the inner corner. This was the highlighter that I used as an eyeshadow <laughs> when I was like first in the Navy I wouldn't deepen up the outer corner. I wouldn't smoke this out. I would literally just take a fluffy crease or a fluffy brush and just wisp it all over my eye. And that was my makeup was champagne pop on my eyelid, a little bit of eyeliner and mascara. And I was like out the door. Part of me is like, oh, I should recreate my first in the Navy makeup because I didn't do a lot. I did foundation, I did powder, highlighter as eyeshadow. <laughs> I didn't even do highlighter on my cheeks. And then liner, mascara, and lip gloss. Oh, so good. Such a good highlighter. Mm, my cheeks are beaming after that blush and highlighter combo. <laughs> Did I need all the highlighter? No, I think the blush had covered it. <laughs> but we're doing it. Now brows, liner, I'm gonna do off camera. It just makes it easier and I will not get distracted as much. But for brow pencil, it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, which I have right here. I also have, this is one of the sample sizes or like travel sizes. I'm almost out. I do have another one in the drawer. And I love this one. There's the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil and the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow. So I have two of the three. And I think I'm gonna use, actually I might use the Precisely My. Now for brow gel, it is the Glossy Boy Brow. I've never used that before. I should pick it up and try it out. The Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow Plus Volumizing Eyebrow Gel. I have this, I had a two pack in like the little travel sizes. Love that, so that, this one's a fresh one. And then the NYX Professional Makeup Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I don't have that one. Might 
pick that up in the future. For waterline eyeliner, and this one I'm like, I don't think it knows that this isn't a brand anymore. The Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon Eyeliner. I was just like, oh, I wish I could pick that up right now. One day, one day Marc Jacobs Beauty will come back, I hope. The Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, really love this. And then the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer, but I'm using the Urban Decay tonight for liquid eyeliner. Kat Von D, well, it's now called KVD Tattoo Liner, which I don't have the tattoo liner. I have the ink liner from KVD. And then the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid, which I do have and I intend on using, it, it's somewhere in here. So I'm gonna use the Stila, and then the other one that I recommended is the NYX Professional Makeup Matte Liquid Liner. I picked up a NYX liquid liner. I couldn't find the matte one, so I have the, or no, 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 I do have it. It's right on my desk. It's the Vivid Matte, just a different name, I guess. But this one's one of the little like inkwell type of liners. I used this the other day and I really like it for mascara and this one I repurchased because it is really good mascara. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. So good from the drugstore, affordable. The Benefit Cosmetics Their Real Lengthening Mascara, have that one, love it. And the Maybelline New York Great Lash Mascara. But we're gonna go with L'Oreal Voluminous. And then I'm gonna come back of course for lips. Okay, I came back to do mascara on camera. I did already curl my lashes. And the liner, I'm liking how it looks. They did redo the packaging on this. When I first saw it, I was like, is that the right one? But it's new packaging. I don't remember what the mascara one looked like before, if it's the same one. I just know that I really liked this and it's been a while since I've used it. Mm. The lashes are just, they pull them apart so nicely and just make them look so fluffy. It's such a good mascara. I am going to go in for a second coat. I just made it more fluffy. <laughs> pick this up again. Such a good one from the drugstore. I did get a bit of mascara right there. Just use this really on your brow or your brow pencil and you'll get it gone. Now setting spray. So I always do my setting spray before I do my lips and setting sprays it recommended the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting. I need to repurchase that. The MAC Cosmetics Prep and Prime Fix Plus which I have my little, it's like a travel size. This is actually a scented one in lavender. And then the NYX Professional Makeup Matte Finish Setting Spray. I have it, but it's not one of my favorites. It has like a weird like mister. It, it like puts big drops on my face. So I am gonna use my MAC Fix Plus. I haven't used it in a long time. I really enjoyed this when I used to use it. why I keep a fan on my desk so everything can just kind of dry down set itself and then I take my little sponge and I press everything in now for for lip products 
I wasn't sure when I did the selection what I would want to do. So I asked for lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss, and I got some different variations. I didn't ask for liquid lipstick specifically. I just, I wondered what it would pick for me based off of lipstick. Now, lip liner is the MAC Cosmetics Lip Pencil in Whirl. So this is where it gets specific in shade. I don't have, I have one or two of the MAC lips, lip liners and I like both of them. Um, but it's not in the shade that it recommended. The NYX Professional Makeup Slim Lip Pencil in Nude Beige. The ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF. I have a bunch of lippy pencils, but not BFF. Um, the lipstick, it recommended the MAC Cosmetics Matte Lipstick in Velvet Teddy. I remember that being a very, like, nude shade. Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint Longwear Fluid Lip Color, which is a mouthful. And the shade Uncuffed, which is what I decided I wanted to use because we are going out, we're going to have drinks, we're going to have dinner, and I want something that's going to last all night. This one will do that. The Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in Lover. And for lip glosses, it chose the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer in Fenty Glow. The NYX Professional Makeup Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee, which I do have that and I absolutely love it, but with my hair down, lip gloss is not the vibe. And then the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream Gloss in White Russian which is also really pretty. I do have a couple of the Buxom Lip Plumping Glosses I do love, but like I said, lip gloss is not the vibe tonight. And with this, I do not need a lip liner. So that is where we're at with all the recommendations from Jeff. Chat GPT. Saying chat GPT is actually very strange. Like my, my mouth does not want to form those words. All right, so let's go ahead. You do have to shake up your liquid lipsticks. I didn't used to, and sometimes I'd be like, what is wrong with this? I just purchased it. Shake them first. It is a very liquidy shade though. So I'll always put mine in the middle and then press my lips together so I can push it to the edge. Okay, you guys, this is the final look and I have some thoughts because I'm looking at my face in the mirror as well as the screen over here for my camera and I don't know that I love my skin. Like I said, I've used the Smashbox photo primer before and I've really liked it, but I also think that I had like the mattifying, it was like a peachy shade. This is a very clear one. It, it didn't get into the specifics, but when I've used my double wear in the past, I use a different primer. I use my Tarte Timeless. It's going to smooth out my pores right here. I can see all of my texture right now and I do not have perfect skin. I 100% will tell you my imperfections. I've talked about them in the past. You know, my little Grand Canyon of a line over here, my under eye lines and crinkles. It is what it is. I still am using my red light face mask from Magellan. I absolutely love it. But sometimes my makeup can emphasize things that I don't necessarily see. And right now, like right through here, I'm actually seeing texture I don't normally see on my skin. Like right here, I don't normally have... I, I don't normally have pores right here. I'm seeing texture that I don't normally have. Do I think AI picking my makeup is foolproof? No. I wanted to see the recommendations. I wanted to try everything out. When I asked it to give me recommendations, I asked for three recommendations and then I got to pick my poison when it came down to what I use today. Do I think I love the Smashbox primer? I'll try it again with other foundations. Um, but I know that I've used my double wear recently and I've used it with the Cali Ray. I've used it with my, 
what is it, the Tarte Timeless and the RMS primer that I have. Really like those combinations. So I'm just, mm, I'm thinking it's the primer because I know that I love the Double Wear Foundation. Also with just the glowiness of the blush, a lot of times when I've been using glowy blushes, I've still, it's like a cream or depending on the formulation, it's different. I like how my makeup turned out. I do like the, the muted down tones of the makeup that it chose. I like the teddy bear browns and the champagne goldish uh, shade that I've used on the inner corner area. So I'm not completely disappointed. I just, there's a couple things that I probably wouldn't use again or try out with different products. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Are there any products on there that you're like, mm, you should switch those out? Let me know your recommendations. Would you try using an AI to choose your makeup routine that day? Um, I didn't get very specific. I didn't say, give me a makeup look for St. Patrick's Day or utilize this face palette and give me... I didn't get very specific. I just said my age, my skin concerns, and asked for a product in every single category. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and we will talk in the comments. And that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications new videos. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys. Bye. I'll see you in the next one.